within the trio of the most famous British supercar manufacturers McLaren, Lotus and Aston Martin. Only the latter company has had the chance to significantly expand its lineup for 2023. This year we will see the arrival of long overdue projects and also will welcome new iterations of fan favorite machines. Aston Martin has dodged the bullet once again and is not going bankrupt. So let's enjoy their newest creations while we still can. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and enjoy the ride. Aston Martin Valhalla After Tobias Mower took over as Aston CEO, the Valhalla took a sharp turn from the initially introduced MARB003 concept. The final production design will have a run of strictly limited 999 units and it will be a middle-engine plug-in hybrid supercar with heavy use of Formula 1 technology. This evolution of the Valkyrie is built around a full carbon fiber structure, acquires carbon ceramic matrix brakes and targets the dry weight of just 3,410 pounds. Unique bodywork expertly manipulates the air to feed the engine intakes, while the adaptable rear wing and sculpted diffusers increase downforce to the fullest. The beating heart of the Valhalla is an all-new PHEV powertrain sourced from Mercedes-AMG. The rear-mounted bespoke 4-liter twin-turbo V8 revs to 7200 rpm and develops over 800 HP. But when the hybrid system kicks in, the overall yield jumps to over 1000 HP and unleashes Valhalla's VMAX of 217 mph and makes possible the 0-62 to time of just 2.5 seconds. The Sestan has a Formula 1-inspired cockpit that is not devoid of luxury comforts. It will also be Aston's first car to get a touchscreen infotainment with built-in Apple, Android and navigation. Aston Martin DBS 770 Ultimate The final iteration of the current generation DBS bids farewell to the iconic V12 power plant. Being the most powerful series production Aston Martin, the 770 Ultimate gets its 5.2-liter torn turbocharged V12 upgraded and fitted with tweaked intake ignition systems. The latter give the car 44 more ponies, raising its potency bar to 759 horses. The extra oomph forced Dustin Martin to revise the front end of the DBS for better cooling. It scores a new front splitter, a pair of outboard vents, and a deep horseshoe cutout on the clamshell hood. In addition, the DBS 770 Ultimate features side skirts, fender louvers, and mirror caps treated with carbon fiber. The aggressive-looking exterior is completed with a set of unique 21-inch alloy wheels wearing Pirelli P0 rubber and finished in satin silver or satin black. The cap and post standard carbon fiber bucket seats wrapped in quilted leather and Alcantara, plus it gets special stitching to match the exterior. Aston Martin DBX 707 Priced $50,000 over the standard DBX, the 707 targets the title of the fastest, most powerful and best handling luxury SUV in the world. Its exterior is redesigned for the sake of function, but as an added bonus, it also looks more menacing. There is a 27% larger front grille, new front splitter profile, fresh air intakes and brake cooling ducts, quad exhaust, revised design of the DRLs and an extended carbon fiber rear spoiler. The 707 nameplate stands for the horsepower output developed by the Aston Martin's modified 4-liter AMG V8. The mill peaks at 664 pound-feet and comes paired with an AMG 9-speed gearbox that has wet clutch design. To handle this immense power, the air suspension was retuned and the SUV received Aston's largest ever 16.5 and 15.3-inch carbon brakes. Finally, the DBX 707 get an updated electronic limited slip differential, standard all-wheel drive and a fully integrated autonomous launch control system. If you're a fan of Aston Martin, make sure to smash the like button to promote this video. And also make sure that you buy one of Aston's cars. The world of car making cannot afford to lose this manufacturer. Let's keep rolling. Aston Martin V12 Vantage Roadster the convertible variant of the Aston Martin's last ever V12 Vantage keeps the thunderous 5.2-liter engine intact and does not lose even a pitch of power during its transition from E-Coupe. This means that the new V12 Vantage Roadster has 690 horsepower and 555 pound-feet sent to the rear wheels through the 8-speed ZF automatic transmission. 
although over 130 pounds heavier than the solid roof version. The model will do a 0-60 to sprint in 3.5 seconds, just 0.1 seconds slower. Exterior-wise, at each corner the Roadster boasts bespoke 21-inch alloy wheels and abandons the coupe's rear wing, though it can be installed back as a paid option. Less noticeable but not less important updates include special suspension tuning, lighter carbon ceramic brakes and a dual exhaust system fabricated from lightweight 1mm stainless steel. Aston Martin Valkyrie The Cypercar is an embodiment of the ancient Norse mythology, a track weapon that could be wielded only by the worthy and valorous racers. By many accounts, the Valkyrie is the most extreme automobile to ever wear a license plate. Only 235 owners will ever get to show up on the streets behind its wheel, and 40 more will be limited to driving it on the racetrack. This masterpiece is a collaboration of the industry's top firms. The huge 6.5-liter V12 from Cosworth revs to 11,000 rpm and is coupled with hybrid and kinetic energy recovery systems by Remitz Automobili. The net electrified output is 1,140 horsepower and 1,000 pound-feet in the top configuration. Those are channeled through the 7-speed Ricardo single-clutch pedal shift transmission to the rear wheels. Aston Martin and Red Bull Technologies created an extremely light, steel-free aerodynamic body and put it on an active suspension with variable damping and height adjustment. This package is further enhanced with carbon ceramic brakes and Michelin racing tires, so the record-breaking performance is within reach. The Valkyrie has already set a new hot lap production car record in Bahrain, and in theory, it has the potential to reach 250 miles top speed. Aston Martin DBX 707 Medical Car Promotional efforts of the Aston Martin team bring the extreme DBX 707 to Formula 1. Not as a competitor, of course, but as an official FIA medical car that will raise personnel to help participants in case of an accident. The model replaces its less powerful DBX sibling that performed this role for the past two years. As you would expect it, the Formula 1 707 is mechanically unchanged from the production version but it is enhanced with a myriad of safety features. It gets emergency lights on the roof, FAA-approved race seats, and six-point harnesses. There are also fire extinguishers, a defibrillator, and biometric data integration from the Formula 1 drivers. Lastly, to ensure that doctors get to the crash site safely and quickly, the 707 is to be operated by a professional driver. Aston Martin and Braff Superior MIB-001 Pro After the initial success of the brand's original AMB-001 Superbike, the companies are launching an even more exclusive and more capable version of the model. If the first Aston motorcycle was limited to 100 units, the Pro gets only 88 builds. Each offers improved downforce thanks to a new front splitter, side wings, and a fixed front cowl. The bike wears racing livery that combines Verdun Jade, with matte finished carbon fiber, photon lime accents, and a black finished tension. The latter is a CNC machined 997cc turbocharged V twin that has 25% more power than its predecessor. The mill makes 225 horses and comes paired with a six speed gearbox and an APTC clutch. As before, the bike gets a CNC machined chassis, the engine acts as a fully load bearing component while the carbon fiber rear subframe and titanium interfaces complement the structure. Are you anxious that one of these days Aston Martin will not make it and we will lose the iconic James Bond supercars? To not let this happen, make sure to smash the like button and leave a comment of support for Aston Martin in the comment section below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and proceed to exploring other British car lineups for 2023 and 2024. All of the links are on the screen. May the torque be with you!